Okay, so there's a feature that is completely undocumented on the Senna 10C EVO. It's an undocumented feature, but it allows you to voice control your phone. So you have Google Voice, you have Alexa, you have Siri. Stay tuned. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Motorcycle Vision. My name's Steve, and uh, this is my next episode. Again, if you're new to the channel, I'm a 50-something-year-old motorcycle rider who began riding only about a year ago, and I'm chronicling my adventures on this channel. But at the same time, if you're new to motorcycle riding, you get to share your experiences with me. Or actually, if you're new to motorcycle riding, I get to share my experiences with you. And hopefully, you'll reach out to me if you have any questions or anything that you're dealing with. So, what's today? Well, for at least a couple of videos now, I've talked about how on the side of my helmet here, I use a Senna 10C EVO. And one of the things, I mean, it's got a lot of features. It's got a camera. It's got video capabilities. In fact, it is the device I'm using right now to shoot my fo forward-facing videos. But it also has a feature that's completely undocumented, and that's what this video is about. The one thing that I always wanted, and I thought it came with it, I really did, because if you look at Senna devices, what do you see? They have the ability to talk to Siri and Google Voice. I thought this one did. After I bought it, I liked everything, but it didn't talk to Siri, Google Voice, or Alexa. It didn't talk to anything. I was disappointed in that because it has controls and they're fairly easy to operate once you get used to them, but they are a little bit of a mind bender. You know, it's like, I want to play the next track on my music, so I got to hold the dial down and turn it forward or hold the dial down and turn it back, but not too far, otherwise you end up changing the volume. <laughs> like crazy stuff like that. Um, it has a speed dial, but you got to hold the button down the correct number of seconds and then you got to turn the dial to get to this preset speed dial number that you want. I mean, it's like a whole lot of stuff. So the feature that I was really upset about was the loss of voice control. Because instead of having to go through all of these crazy features, it would have been nice if, you know, you could just say to, you know, your Alexa, Google, Siri device, you know, call this number or, you know, what time is it, or what's on my calendar, change the song, play the music, blah, 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 blah. And I was very upset about it. Well, I found an undocumented feature. And when I say undocumented feature, I mean it in the most sincere sense of the word. It's not in the Senate documentation. It's not on their website. It's not even, when you look at the reports of what things can do, it's not listed there either. Now, I guess it's not on the reviews because it's not on the documentation, so people don't know it's there. But here's the story, guys. There's an undocumented feature that lets you take advantage of Google Voice on the Senna 10C EVO, even though it's not documented. Now, it has a couple of preconditions, which I'm going to share with you. You can't be doing something else at the time. So what do I mean? You can't be listening to music and activate it. You can't be in the middle of a phone call and activate it. It's like a single threaded device. So it can't do two things at once, meaning multitask. But it works. So what you do, here's the secrets, guys. What you do is at the back of the device, and I'm going to put a picture up right now so you can see what, I, what I'm seeing, but I mean, it looks like this on me. Okay, so looking at the picture in the back, you see the phone button. That's the button that's supposed to turn the phone on and off. You tap it once, and you tap it only for a second. Now, the reason I say, I'm telling you, you have to tap it only for a second, because if you tap it and hold it down, it's going to attempt to do something. I believe it turns on the FM radio. Because, yeah, there's a feature in here. It's kind of cool. It has FM radio on it. But it will try and turn it on while you're trying to use Google Voice. So, not a good thing. Okay. So, I pulled over to make this part of it sound better and so I could focus without having any difficulties while I'm driving. So, the secret of this thing is just press the phone button 
like this one right over here. Press the phone button once, only for a second. And then it will activate either Alexa or Siri or Google Voice, in my case, Google Voice, and you can talk to it. Here's an example. What time is it? 12.20 p.m. What day is it? It is Saturday, March 27th, 2021. So you see, it works. Now it gives me all the controls that Google Voice would have given me, or Siri, or Alexa, or whatever you use. I can make phone calls by telling it to call someone. I can turn on my music stations, be it Sirius, Pandora, whatever you use. I can turn it on. I can play my personal music. I can go to YouTube. I can do just about anything. But all I have to do is touch one button. Now, the good thing about this is, I mean, some of the features are built into it, okay? You know, spin the dial and you can say next, spin the, push, push the button rather, and spin the dial for next, push the dial, spin, the, spin it in the other direction, and you go backwards. But in the meantime, I don't have to go through all of that. I just push one button and I get all of it, which is faster, easier, and safer. So it's an undocumented feature, but it, it opens up worlds for you because I can tell this thing to play music. I can tell this thing. I can ask it to make a phone call. It's just become more hands-free than it was. I don't know why they don't publicize that this feature is there, but it's there. So guys, take advantage of it. Uh, it's it brings a whole new realm of usefulness to this device. It takes it to another level for me anyway. I hope you found this feature useful. If you did, I ask you to give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment, let me know about it. I'm especially interested if you're thinking about buying one of these devices and this may have been the thing that swayed you. Or if you have one and you were like me and you always wanted this feature, but you thought you couldn't have it. Um, once again, you are watching Motorcycle Vision. My name is Steve, and I look forward to being with you on the next ride. Ride safe. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.